Hello and welcome to Construction Wall. Today we finally out you out and uh, we're doing some Christmas shopping here at the St. MK in Milton Keynes. As you can see behind me there's a whole host of uh, you know like little lodges and uh, lots of Christmas lights back here, looks really good. And uh, you'll see um, somewhere back there, I think you can go and see Santa. Uh, so lots of nice activities. Uh, on our Christmas shopping we're going to go down to the Lego store finally and uh, check out what they've got in the store at the moment. It'll be good to see you know what's on the power board, maybe doing winter detailing on some of the bits I'm working on and also to see what sort of Christmas sets and uh, Christmas uh, displays they might have. So uh, let's go and check it out. And there is actually a, a Christmas train going by where people can see Santa and they're all waving, hello. On the way we've got distracted and ended up buying some uh, sugar cinnamon pretzels which you can just see in this packet here very Christmassy themed and there it is looks really good still warm so I'm going to eat this um, before it goes cold and then get down to the store well, I think we're getting quite close to the uh, Lego store now as so we're back to that upside down house there's even a nice uh, Christmas tree outside it now this time and just follow this uh, big line of Christmas trees here and just along you'll be able to see the actual Lego store in Milton Keynes there's the sign Let's go and take a look at what's in the front window at the moment. So I'm introduced by the new Orient Express that came out this month. Yeah, it says much bigger than I thought actually, it's uh, quite long. It looks really good in this sort of deep blue colour. See all the different minifigures lined up. The one's fallen over filming this uh, lady there. And there's a train worker loading up the carriage with the luggage. And someone just uh, coming off. And oh, there's a lady back there as well just boarding the train. And up here we've got the uh, Hocus Pocus house we've seen a few times. So right next to it is the brand new Lego Avengers Tower. As you can see it comes with a lot of minifigures and there's uh, the Hulk there smashing through uh, windows. You can see all sorts of activity going on up the tower. And there's the top with four standing on top of it. There's the Avengers logo and oh, there's a Falcon um, having a battle up there. There's a close look of four. And let's just get an overview of how big this um, set really is. And on the other side of the window display, there's this uh, nice sort of wintry type uh, cityscape here. All sort of snowed over. Got the Christmas decorations on the buildings, a little tree there. I think that looks really good. And right next to him is the brick built Santa. There to greet you as you go in the store. Very festive. I thought to have a look at the other side of the Avengers Tower now that we're in the store. You can see it comes with a few things here like a little jet. I think that's the wasp uh, riding the jet there. What have we got here? Got the uh, entrance to the uh, tower and the rubbish bin. Not sure what that tape is, must be a reference. That's the Leviathan figure that you can make, uh, that sort of, you can have flying around the tower. There's a lot of minifigures in action um, at the side of the tower. There's uh, Tony Stark there actually with the Iron Man suit ready to like go on to him mid-flight. We've got a portal, that'd be from um, the Doctor Strange universe. Oh, that's Black Widow, um, up to something there. Have a uh, look at the Avengers sign. And there's a little bird next to it. That's quite a good detail. And we've got some more minifigures here. That's a War Machine, I think, and Vision. Let's see Scarlet Witch. I like the, uh, you know, oh, yeah, that's definitely a war machine. I like the translucent legs on that figure. And you can see, like, the curve of the tower is done really well. And then going up the top again, we see old Captain America there. Looks like there's two of them, actually. Yep, two Captain America mini figures. And there's four again that we saw from the other side. Let's look around this side. Oh, was a. Uh, let's have a look at it. There you go, there's Iron Man, yep. Flying along. That's the figures from the other side. You can see, uh, oh, there's Loki. He's uh, riding a chariot there. Overall, very impressive set with so much detail. In the centre of the store, they've got a Winter Village collection display. So, this is actually the Alpine Lodge we built the wolf uh, a few weeks ago. That's the little frozen lake. And there's the box for it, Alpine Lodge. We've got a number of Christmas trees in stock. Uh, I think this is retired this year actually, Santa's visit. Uh, we've still got to build that, so we need to get onto that. We've got like a little uh, polar bear set and gingerbread men, nutcracker. And oh, this is a exclusive set this year, which is a little sort of Star Wars uh, Millennium Falcon diorama. 
see uh, nice uh, figures for jumpers and uh, here's a look at the Christmas tree built it's quite a sizable um, set and there's a nutcracker there looks very happy and then uh, here's um, last year's Winter Village collection set at the Holiday Main Street but unfortunately that's out of stock at the moment if we just look over at some of the other sets um, I haven't seen this in store before uh, I think this has come out recently the Spider-Man art set it's quite uh, visually striking with the colours you see it's got a lot of little sort of spider little figures on it and you see it's 3D he sort of comes out of the set you see him going to the table there and uh, it's done quite a good job on this but it's not really a sort of set for me then uh, this is the actual box for the Orient Express we saw in the shop window got them in stock and there's some uh, built uh, Tales of the Space Age uh, art sets and then this modern art set right at the back uh, which I'm not really keen on if I'm honest a bit uh, garish uh, but they do have the Viking village here which is built so let's take a look at that I think this is the first time I've seen it um, in person I like the snow cap tree and there's a blacksmith just back there there she is with a range of tools in the hut and then we've got like this is like the Viking chief I imagine and that's his hut like the details on here and uh, oh actually they've used a golden sausage part there that's quite a good detail there's uh, another Viking minifigure with uh, some fish hanging up they've got like a lookout tower section here with uh, another Viking on it I think this is overall a really good value set and uh, just looking at some of the Star Wars ships in the Star Wars section we have a wide range of um, sets uh, in stock here I must admit I'm not a collector of these style sets but it's good to have a look and just see what they've got and oh there's that a Chewbacca set there with a sort of scary face there you go look at his eyes just piercing you we've got the massive AT-AT with a massive price of £735 Else we've got. Oh, and then we're going to like Marvel and uh, DC sets and there's the big shadow box that came out this year for Batman A few more Marvel, the Hulkbuster. And there's the actual box for the Avengers Tower there, so they've got that in stock. You see how thick it is, a massive, massive set. Just buy this uh, set, which is really nice. It's temporary out of stock at the moment, which is the uh, Ski and Climbing Centre. And you can see the slushy van that they put next to it as well. But I think it's just a really uh, nice set. Uh, you've got like the rock climbing part here. You can see that knob there. If you turn that, the minifigure go up and down on the rock climbing section. Got snowman outside and then uh, at the top here you see this sort of uh, rubber wheel if you turn that you can um, get the skiers and snowboards to go up a lift on the inside and they can ski down uh, the ski slope you can see they've got like her one with a dinghy there and then you've got like a snowboarder and a skier i think it's a really good set that could maybe fit into your winter village uh, collection well they've even got a little uh, school hanging out on the tree above there and we've got a few uh, in the city section, uh, family houses, an electric car. This looks like some sort of um, tuning workshop garage. Like the world in mask. Then uh, I haven't seen this plane in person before. It's, uh, it's much bigger than I thought it was actually. You see a little minifigure hanging off the side for dear life. Looks happy though. And you get all the accessories such as the stair car. And uh, people with luggage and all there. There's like a food transportation van as well. So we're quite impressive with that. And I uh, found also a skate park, very colourful. Got people, you know, biking, skating, a bit of graffiti on the side. Got a boom box. And then this is the ice cream um, shop, which I've not seen before actually. I like the little Polar Bears 2 uh, minifigure. I've just noticed this set here actually, uh, which reminds me of the Winter Time Carriage. You can see it uses the same uh, wheels. That was a gift I purchased before. And I like the cute little elephant squirting some water out there. And they've got a build a heart uh, building station here, just a fun activity for people to have a go in the store. You can see you've got a range of uh, pieces here. Good range actually. And then if you go around the other side you can see some builds that people have made and displayed. That's a very impressive uh, heart they've made there, like the pattern, looks very clear. And we've got, uh, yeah, they still look like little heart pieces. Obviously these are Georgia making these, but a good effort. And I found this big present here. See the present? It's got the new uh, module building, the Natural History Museum. So there's the box. And uh, you can see next to it actually they're displaying the boutique hotel at the moment, which was uh, the module building from I think two years ago now, or last year. And uh, here's the actual Natural History Museum. This is the first time I've seen it in person. Very impressive size. You can see the roof there. 
and uh, you can see actually they've got like little minifigure, micro figures even in the center there. And there's a window cleaner and very nice bold colorful banners there, explore the future. And we've got a nice sort of statue on there, the ladies feeding the both the birds and the dog. And we've got the uh, curator who's uh, being filmed, he must have discovered a new bone, a new dinosaur maybe. And there's an excited minifigure there, I like this sort of cherry blossom tree. And then we go, go back in time banner on the other side. And the detailing is really good of the arches and the columns. And let's have a look, the side's a bit plain, and then around the back is relatively plain. You want to see a telescope on the top of there. And sort of a door. And then, uh, yeah, the back door there, a little bit of a bin. And then I like the detail with the drain pipe, the water coming out and the little plant growing near it. That's quite nice. If we look around the other side, yeah, again, it's quite plain, but you would actually put a module building next to it to hide that. And for have a look at all the keyrings in stock at the moment. A lot of Star Wars and you know DC Marvel with Disney. And then uh, we've got a nice little display here with one of the new Santas we're looking at at the moment. And Kieran, sort of snowman. We've got some old uh, brick heads around this side on display. And that's the range they've got in at the moment on this section. There's Wally and Eva, Sonic and Tails. And then uh, just down here. This is one of the main reasons I've come into the store is to get these uh, builder minifigures because they're exclusive to the store, you can't get those online. And uh, here we can see them more clearly. So we've got the lady there with the big snowflake. We've got Santa like the dark red suit and he's uh, got a teddy to give as a present. And we've got this guy here with a shovel ready to, I guess, uh, clear the snow from his drive. I think it's a really nice set. And here's the builder minifigure station. You can see here you pick your hat or hair piece. And then uh, you can also then go and pick your head, your body and your legs and then an accessory and you get I think three for six pounds here so that's pretty good value. There's a look at all the different pieces. So uh, some of those pieces that we've just seen on the uh, minifigures that come in the pre-made sets, I think I can improve on some of those to more my taste. Oh, I found a vampire head in there. So I'm going to have a rummage round and uh, make my own three minifigures and then uh, if you stay tuned to the video, see how I got on. I've just seen a few more sets I've not seen before. So this is from Aladdin, the mini um, palace of Agrabath. You can see there, like this little gold uh, detail on the top with little cupcake tops actually. And then there's the um, magic carpet with the lamp. And then just over here, I'm not familiar with this film. This is the uh, Asher in the city of Rosas. And they've got a cute little goat with it over a little jumper. Some of the Lego friend sets that have been released this year are actually quite impressive. I like this sort of ski slope type uh, set and then there's one with an igloo here. You can see them both built up. So I'm not a big fan of the mini dolls, but I suppose you could replace them with mini figures. You can see there's a waterfall there, a little campfire. You can see the igloo. And here's the actual uh, ski slopes. It's not too bad really, is it? Interesting way of building the trees there, they're snow capped. Maybe a bit of colourful I like it, but not too bad. Just interesting to see them in the store. And I'm just looking around the Harry Potter section. You see there's a huge amount of sets for Harry Potter. There's the impressive uh, Green Gots Bank that came out this year. And just down here actually, here's this uh, Hogsmeade Village set. This is very sort of Winter Village-esque uh, type set really, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it you know, fit in with your Winter Village uh, sets. Let's have a look at the back. You've got like a, a sort of a tavern there, we're serving like butter beer and then a sweet shop. It is quite a nice little set this. we also got this uh, the Shrieking Shack at Whomping Willow. Got a dog figure there and then the minifigures actually there's uh, one that's uh, a wolf uh, figure which is quite nice. Uh, this is probably more of a sort of a Halloween type set although it's snowy than a Christmassy winter village type set. And then over here we've got some uh, of the sets built up. From Harry Potter, so we've got the Owl Hedwig and then the potion bottles are quite cool. And there's a wand. And a frog and figures at the back there. And a blue stag. And finally I thought I'd check out the Pabble. And you can see here now, uh, for the first time I've seen they've got the boxes in uh, stock now. So no more cups. And that's uh, the prices which have stayed the same. And uh, unfortunately I've had a look around and uh, there's not many pieces that are different from when I last came a few months ago. You see uh, we've got sort of, you know, white bricks for like Christmassy type uh, building snowmen. Still got the tree limb elements. These are good for Christmas I guess, you know, sort of gold detailing. 
you got like uh, little twig elements you can make uh, the snowman's arms from. And we've got these giant snowflakes. I've never really found good use for those. Uh, ice for the snowman. And there's a, a little example you could build. Got some tan masonry bricks at the moment, so that's quite a good part actually. And there's these uh, white slopes here, which would be good for snow detailing. Well, now I can see myself there. Hello. And then what else have we got here? Oh, uh, we've got some golden parts again. And some plates. And then the rock panels, which I got last time. And then uh, up here you'll see they've got some uh, green slopes too, which are good for like sort of greenery detailing. I've just gone to the checkout to pay and uh, seen some uh, nice present builds they've got behind the counter. The bows. And also over here they've got like a little brick built Santa with a present. So you've got candles on his head, that's quite nice. And then uh, down below they've got a few snowmen as well, which is quite nice. Before we head back home, we've gone to a place called Hotel Chocolate where they've made us these salted caramel and clementine hot chocolates. Definitely gonna have to walk this off. Just having a final look around before we drive home. So there's a nice carousel here. And uh, just to the left of it is this uh, giant hotel house which looks like it's out of Mario. Right, we're now back home with the wolf here. So you want to see what we actually got from the Lego store, don't you? So uh, you might have seen in uh, some of the shots, got this absolutely massive bag of Lego here. It's maybe a bit excessive uh, for what we bought, um, that's just what they had. We're trying not to tip over, so I'm going to angle it down a bit. Safety town, there we go. So we should we see what we've got inside? Uh, so the first thing, if I can find it under the, the box, is... I'm trying to make sure you're in shot here. We've got these minifigures that we discussed. There you go, we've got uh, three minifigures there. You'll see we've customised these slightly from how they were sold in the Lego store. Uh, so I'll pop a picture up now and then you can compare. So the first one is the guy sh uh, shoveling the snow. Um, the only thing we changed on this one was the um, the trousers element. You'll see in the original we were just a plain, sort of quite a bit boring trousers, but in this one I've used the dual moulded legs, so it looks like he's wearing uh, boots while he's uh, shoveling his snow. And then the Santa I've kept the same because I just really like, you know, the dark red uh, figure that's exclusive to, you know, this uh, builder minifigure. Um, range and then I kept him with the teddy bear just you know as he gives that as a gift and then um this lady figure on the end here um with the nice you know sort of sparkly sort of like snowflake type dress you can see that's the same on the back as well um I changed up a little bit so um she was originally holding this massive snowflake element which I didn't really think fit in it was a bit big really so I've changed that for a candy cane so she could be you know giving that to you know people visiting Santa and also I wasn't as keen on the face and the pink hair, so I've changed up a bit and, um, you know, sort of made us maybe like she could be a potential Mrs. Claus. So I think I will just customise it a little bit more to my own tastes. That's the minifigures we got then, uh, but we did get one other thing, which I'll show you now. So you might have guessed actually with my interest in it, we've got the uh, Harry Potter Hogsmeade Village set. Uh, so I think it's a really nice set and um, you'll see here as we talked about, we've got a nice tavern where the minifigures can go for a drink and also a sweet shop too. But you know your snow cap roofs, which are um, you know sort of very uh, winter village esque, and even like uh, the mailbox, um, well the wanted sign actually has got a um, snowy scene on it. And if I spin it around, you'll see like the winter village collection sets. They're you know like not full modular buildings; they're open back, uh, so you can see the details inside, and they're more you know playable. So if we spin that around like so, and we get the wolf just been laying down here. So that's your your new set to build in the future. And uh, I will say. Um, we're filming this now on Friday. I actually went to the Lego store yesterday on the Thursday. And unfortunately that was just the one day I had to go there and, you know, um, visit the store. And it was just in between uh, gift with purchases at that time. Um, so we didn't unfortunately get any gift with purchases. Um, that's just the luck of the draw sometimes. Because I think from today you can get like, um, you know, a Lego inside this like poly bag, a Christmas themed one. And then um, we would have got it if we got this uh, today, unfortunately. Uh, not yesterday, and then also um, they're giving away House of the World again, uh, number four. Uh, but you have to spend a, a huge amount of it, about £220 to get that. Um, so, um, yeah, we still got our insides at this point, so had a really good time, made some good memories. And uh, we'll build this in a new uh, video in the future. So we're going to um, do some, you know, Christmas themed um, videos over the next few weeks. So uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and enjoy those. And if you could like and subscribe, if you enjoy our content, that'd be much appreciated. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.